have a 20 room home where families from 35 miles and farther away come and stay when they're being seen by a local hospital and the majority, large majority, 70 to 75 percent of our patients are from the med center. We give them a place to stay and a warm meal, staff 24 hours a day to help them in their path towards healing and respite. We want them to feel a sense of normalcy in the best way that they can. So by having a built-in support system with other families who are going through the same thing and having a warm bed and someone who will always say good morning to you and good night and make sure that you're taken care of and make this as much like a home, even though you're a million miles away and going through the one of the hardest times in your life, we wanna make everything and everyone as comfortable as possible. Lindsay Ray came over and she was talking to us and she was like, well, what do you got going on? What are you doing? You know, how's your dress? Just, you know, having a girly girl talk and I was showing her and telling her some things and... I was new. I was new to the Ronald McDonald House and it was the first time that I had ever sat down and had dinner with the families and I happened to be sitting across from a mom who was going to get married and they were gonna have the reception at the Ronald McDonald House. I'm pretty sure, you know, she kind of felt sad, you know, because we had to buy everything on such of a small budget. She started just having everybody um, ask me questions, show me pictures. She pulled up a lot of things on Pinterest and she was, she kind of made it seem like she was trying to, she didn't want to pry, but she was trying to get information as far as what I liked, cause she had a bigger plan. In about 16 hours, the entire city of Omaha came together. People just out of the woodwork started calling me from that morning when I woke up. I mean, World Herald News and magazine people and makeup artist people and, and people that wanted to sing at our wedding and all these decorations that we couldn't possibly afford. And all I could do was just cry because I was like, wow, like you went and did all of this and n nobody asked her to do anything. She did all this on her own. It's like really, it's like a fairy tale. Like I don't believe, believe in that, but if you read the books and everything, it, it was something like out the, out the movies. We had staff that came through that helped out. We had, uh, and then the spouses of staff, for example, my husband uh, was the one that took LaToya to the church in her chariot, <laughs> which is his Toyota Camry. It was just a dream come true. It was a, a, a fairy tale. It, in my mind, it's a fairy tale. For, for somebody that didn't know you to come, to, for a community to come and do that, it was like pretty much a blessing. I'm a, you know, it was something that, it touched my heart. Being away from home, it's, you know, your family back home, you're not knowing everybody and coming here and people welcome you with open hands, it's just a blessing. I would never forget that day. Everyone here is going through one of the most traumatic experiences of their life. It's, there's high tension and we'll do everything we can to soothe that, but at the end of the day, this is a high stress environment because of the outside factors. And so for one night, we had the opportunity to eliminate all of that. Coming here for the reception, it seemed like there was not a person without a smile. And we just had so much fun. And I think that was something we all needed because we all go through so much every day with our kids. We do have a lot of limits. We can't afford to give meals to every family and we can't afford toys for all of these kids on their birthday so we rely on Omaha to do that for us. This place helps a lot of a lot of people, a lot of families. And this place runs 
not just on love, you know, it, it needs funds to run this type of organization in, in a home like this. So, you know, if there's people out there that can, that can give, you know, this is one of the places that those funds are definitely needed. The Ronald McDonald House is like a family. Once you stay here, you like everybody become family. You become helping each other. You, uh, you get to know each other's kids, your moms, the, the grandparents, everything. I don't know any other place that would have probably received us in, in the manner of how they did it and so quickly and seamless how they did it. There was no issues from the moment we came, from the moment we left. I've never known of Omaha. All I've heard was about the steaks, but I tell you now, it's a lot more other things than just the steaks here.